I'm Dan. And I'm Austin. We are here to play games. Like puppets. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Welcome back to Liza P, everybody. Um, I am... Uh, we are to the point where we are getting closing in on the end here. Um, and somebody wrecked our whole place in the last episode. It was kind of rough. Yeah. It was so rough that we got an angry emote out of it. <clears throat> That's right. It made us very angry. It did. Yes, indeed. Uh, Geppetto got oh, stolen, so we gotta go rescue him. That's right. Yeah, we gotta go find Geppetto. Um, I don't know why I'm talking to him. And I think we don't have anything else really going on other than we need to go ahead and proceed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the Relic of Trismegistus. Yeah. Um, and for clarity, we, um, the people who attacked the Hotel Krat was the, uh, Black Rabbit Brotherhood. And, um, we don't really know why they attacked or how they knew of the refuge of the Hotel Krat. Because, right, because we've been keeping it secret up to this point. So. Yep. Yep, it's been an interesting road trying to kind of trying to figure out who is doing what uh, in this world, and of course right. uh, dealing with um, the attack on the hotel and all that. I think there's going to be some more revelations to come here as we mm -hmm. proceed. Um, so let's go ahead and move it. So the relic, I think we just started here. was beneath the hotel. Wait. Is, is this the relic of Trismegistus? You know, it's the strangest feeling. I, I, I think I've been here before. Oh. Uh, maybe I haven't gotten all my memories back after all. I don't mm. know exactly what's going on, but someone was dragged away from here. We have to follow. Hurry. All right, I'm underground, but I see a butterfly. Have I got mad or is it from another world? Oh, interesting. Pretty sure there's a butterfly on the other side of that. Yeah, I think so. Turns red, but we're not quite. Or it's down here. Yeah, could be. Yep. More than one. There's like three of them. Hold on. That's interesting. Quick, get it! Run, Forrest, run! Oh, which reminds me. I don't know why that reminded me, but... <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> run, Forrest, run! <laughs> right. Uh, if this is your first time here, uh, to any of our videos, or first time to Liza P specifically, welcome, we're glad to have you. Um, there's a lot going on, so if you would like to see the first episode so that you have some idea of what's going on narratively check the top right hand corner we'll have a card for the full playlist at your perusal but if you're just like yeah i don't care about story i just want to see this guy get punched in the face that's fine too so we are here to welcome help. <laughs> yeah right we're here to please so by all means uh just glad to have you here along for the ride that's right oh Hello, this friendo. Big, this is a big dude. Whoop. That's not good. Gotta get your bearings again. <laughs> well, I did also, uh... Kinda have a um, little bit of a moment of... Oh, yes. To attack, I press this button. Mm-hmm. Get back off, dude. Jeez. Ooh. Eh. He hits really hard. He does. He definitely does. Good block. Just do that perfectly another six more times. And maybe yeah. this uh, axe will break at that point. Apparently. <laughs> Man, I love the... Like, critical hits. Agreed. 
Get out of here. There it is. Iron wall amulet. All right. Yep. Let's take a look at that. Increased physical damage reduction rate. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's not bad. And we got weapon attack in proportion to number of fable slots. Favor and protection, basically. I'm liking this setup, but this one seems a little more circumstantial since we're doing more fable, so we could do that, or we could just leave it how it is. I think we're good for now, but we can re-examine it later. Yep. All right. Um, well, there should be a chest somewhere. There yeah, it is. I see it, yeah. I wasn't sure which way to go first here, so let's check this out since we began. Well, that's a dead end anyway, so. That is. Yeah, this is right here. First night, Halberd. Let's there take, it is. Take a look at this. This looks cool. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Well, this is a straight Halberd. Yeah. This, yeah, a lot of these weapons have been, like, weird amalgamations of stuff. Yeah. Let's see here. But that's just a... Spin to win? Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty good, actually. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Switch display. We got Link Slash. Guard Parry. Cursed Knight's Castle. Okay. That's a cool weapon. I like that one. I am a sucker for a good halberd, though. They're pretty cool. Yeah. But it's hard. It's hard to not keep the scythe. Yeah, the scythe is just so good. <laughs> with, with its magic fish hook line. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I haven't used it a huge amount, but on groups and certain enemies, it's just excellent. Whoa! By the way, there's fire there. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm here to help. Does it do it again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grief! I knew it, and I got hit again. All right. Anyway. Hey, man. What up, pal? <laughs> Okay, thanks, Chief. Uh, all right, so... Oh, not again. Um, there is another phone from the Riddler King floating around somewhere, so we need to find that. But then who was phone? Um, apparently Pinocchio. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Good information. Mm-hmm. Wow, this place looks crazy. Whoa, how are you supposed to get up there? I guess you drop down, all right, yeah. I see a phone. Question is, are there any enemies? Yeah, We're gonna come stab you in the back in the middle of the conversation. Yeah, that's what I don't want to have happen. I, I think you'll be all right. Yeah, this looks okay. <laughs> Soon, this little dance of ours will come to an end. No one's ever danced longer, I promise, my friend. Will you stay with me, too, and face whatever is coming? For today is a new day, and we have to keep running. I knew that you would, and I find that refreshing. So, the king of riddles will now hear your confession. Hmm. What should I say here? Um, well, since we've been going with the the right options, we're gonna go with no. No. Oh yeah. my goodness! You <laughs> really are an incredible liar! And once you get going, oh, you really catch fire! Would you say Ashamed, his pants are on fire? Or just the murder? Murder! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you should reconsider that conscience of yours. It's charming, but all this guilt 
world's just such a bore. Or maybe there's no way you can. Perhaps it's it's part of becoming a man. <laughs> you are so very wrong that I cannot believe it. <laughs> but you did make me laugh. Yeah, I was gonna say, I figured this was the last one here. Yeah, um... Arlequino. So, you can open that box. Uh-huh. Just note, you will get decay from it. So okay. be prepared to heal that. Okay. Uh, shoot. It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. So I can just open it for my inventory here? Uh, yeah. You should be able to use the box. Hold on, I can't read. Uh, is it here? Let's see. Oh, wait, there it is. Contents are unknown. Is there mm -hmm. anything else I can do with it, or do I just open it? You just you just open it and get oh. what's inside. Chosen one's Trinity key. All right. And we got a heal decay. Yep. So for those interested in knowing, if you had selected yes, he would have just given you the key directly. Ah, okay. Come on. But that's not fun, because we've been choosing the other options all this time. Exactly. Um, and and the answer yes would have been part of the, what I'm assuming is a secondary ending, where you don't lie ever. Mm-hmm. Um. Ooh. Which I'm curious what kind of ending that would get you, but we'll we'll see. Agreed. I would be quite curious how that one would go, but clearly we're not on that path this this playthrough, so. No, we are not. At, uh... There we go. Ah! This place is hazardous. All right. Here's some stomping down there. Let's go. <laughs> Those guys suck. Come here, friendo. Please. <laughs> that was satisfying. That might be the smoothest I think I've seen you take out one of those guys. Yeah, those guys usually give me a lot of trouble. I'm pretty happy. It was just a focus moment there. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's grab this. What do we got? More stuff. A Legion caliber. Those are always good. Yeah, we should um, we should unlock more of the the arms. Abilities just kind of we could maybe do an exhibition if we can unlock all of them or something. That'd be fun. Maybe, yeah, maybe oh, I got this old Stairs up oh, that goes up to a boss. Okay. Good. Yeah, this area is actually fairly short. Okay um, it, it might be the smallest area we've run around Since starting this game except for maybe the first area Okay, what it feels like oh hey, I haven't gotten that yet. Yeah, I'm assuming you gotta you gotta do the big leap I don't know. No. If you, oh, from the other side, maybe. Yeah, I do need to get this too. Okay. Got to get all the items. Of course. Necessary. <laughs> Ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Exactly. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Yeah, you can you can make that jump. Sort of. <laughs> all good. In theory. Excellent. I can make that jump. Mm -hmm. After I fail to make the jump a bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I didn't say how many times it would take you to get it. I just said you could make it. Yeah, that's true. There we go. Not bad. All right. 
Now we can. Good deal. We've got a half moon stone. We can go down. I wonder what we're about to fight here. I don't know, but you're probably not going to want to do it with just one. Oh, hey, it's the coffin from the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Oh, boy. Yeah. I would recommend <laughs> maybe uh, taking a visit to the Stargazer. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Um, and then we'll. Yeah, most recent Stargazer. I'll just, like, uh, book it past all the annoying enemies, I guess. Sure, why not? Because <laughs> that worked so well last time. It's fine. Yeah, hopefully some of these bigger ones, especially the one I got the amulet from, will be gone. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I mean, if the past areas have been any indication, then they should be. Yeah. I don't think the big, like, tentacly head one will be gone. He seems to respawn. I'm not fighting him or again. Least... <laughs> yeah. But that's close enough that you probably could kind of, like, skirt around them. If and you wanted. I do. This guy. Ah. Nice. Alright, not bad. Uh-huh. And then orient myself right. here. Is this right? Yep. Yeah, here right we go. There. Perfect. It's time to summon a spectator. Yes indeed. A spectator. Spectator. I just like to think that it's the spirit of me helping you out on your boss fights. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your moral support. You're cheering me on. Hey. Hey, friendo. Ooh. Yeah, it's these guys again. A bucket head. That bucket. Oh, yeah, his giant, like half cloud cleaver. Yeah, that sword is... Oh my god. This is gonna be interesting. Fight. Death has come for you. I don't know about that, guys. There were five of them, right? I believe so. Or no, it was four, but we... We took out the big one. Ah. Oh, interesting. Oh, watch your back, yep. <laughs> back there. Yup. <laughs> All right, Surprise you want to do this? backstab. Oh, I forgot they had those. <clears throat> mm. They're using your weapons. Essentially, yes. Well, that's a saber, I guess, but like it's got a very similar move set. Yup. Get out of here. Oh, that was stabs. Yeah, I knew that was coming. All right. Oh, that's your Spectre's help. I was like, what? Hmm. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I can't decide who actually is the most threatening of the two right now. Yeah. Probably, probably Spear. Oh, God, I love that. Wow. That was so much damage that they both just took. That's it. Wow. Were they sharing health bars or something? Hey, buddy. Oh, there it is. Couldn't do it in time. Hmm. It's all right. It's you and me, buddy. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's corrupted by whatever the Optimus were doing. Yup. Oh. Because, you know, we really needed that. Ah. Oh. No. No. Oh, nice block. 
Break, break his broken sword more, please. That'd be great. Oof. 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 That's it. Oh, man. I got cornered. <laughs> that was almost a clean one-time try, too. Almost, yep. That's all right. <laughs> it just proves that you do really well against humanoids. <laughs> About it, yeah, humanoids, yeah. Yes. They're, they're kind of my specialty in these games, that's for sure. Yeah. Guaranteed, had that been me, I would have died way before the first three died. <laughs> yeah, that last guy, I'm, I'm a little frustrated at how close that was, but that's all right. <laughs> we'll get it. That's okay. Listen, listen, it's not the illusions, okay? The the wanderer of illusions. Yeah, that's true. That that was rough. <sighs> that, that was the coolest fight. That's that wanderer of illusions is my favorite fight in this game so far. Yeah, I'd have to agree with it. Um and I, I, and clearly it left an impact on us because this is the second episode post defeating yeah. it where we were talking about it, but like Yep. Tonally just, just oh it was so intense. Yeah, and what? Well, so the music was unnerving. The the movement of the boss was unnerving. Fighting uh, it was perfect for like what it was. What the um, it was oppressive. It was an oppressive fight mechanically. Yes. Not like unfair, but oppressive. Like you gotta right. you gotta do it right. You gotta do it perfectly. And so I died so many times. Right. Well, it's also a, you know a dueling individual too, which makes um changes the dynamic a little bit. That's right. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, that, that feels like fair play. Fair turn around. Yeah. No. Oh my. <laughs> I was getting God. wrecked, man. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, Ooh, good block. Ooh. Don't like that electric shock. Mm. Good. I guess hanging out by your specter has been the way to go. Yeah. Oh, that rapier. <laughs> oh, man. This is uh, chaotic here. It really is. I'm a little... I'm having a hard time, like... They move so fast, my eyes couldn't follow. <laughs> Ultra Instinct! Mm. Ooh. Ouch. Okay. Aw. Oh. Ooh. Mistimed that. Alright. <laughs> Didn't know he had a shockwave attack. That sucks. Yeah, so uh, it was totally calculated that I died before, so we could see all his attacks. Of um, course, yeah, that's... right. We just wanted to give you guys the full gambit of all the moves he could do. That was for you, viewers. That's right, which is why our Spectre just ate so much dust. Yeah. Aw. Oh, not good. Alright, man. He, he's he got so much health, too. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Aw. Oh. Oh. Close. Mm. Had he actually hit me, that would have been timed right. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, oh what's happening? I oh. don't know, but that hurt. Oh, no, not again. Not again, uh, not again. No! Not again, run away, run away, run away! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Flee! <laughs> ah, no, stop it. That was the wrong button. Yeah, it sure was. Some I back. suggest everybody panic. Alright. Yeah. Just can't get yourself caught again. Ooh. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Man. Not going well. Some, no, stop pressing that button. All right. <laughs> that's that's some high pressure, man. That's that's yeah, rough. Yeah, this guy combos pretty nicely. Can I? <laughs> Oh, yep, there it is. He's a, he's pretty tough. He's pretty tough. I got an idea for dealing with him, but he's pretty tough. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really amused at the fact that you just, like, yeeted a tiny bottle of decay at him, and he's just like, nah, I'm fine, don't worry about that. Oh, uh, okay. Sure, man, whatever. Don't care. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna equip this guy, and then when we get to that phase, I'm gonna swap over to it. Makes sense. I feel like that's, that's gonna do a lot better against him. That sword seems to do really good against big, oppressive component, uh, like opponents. Yeah, honestly, with regards to upgrades, I'm really tempted to upgrade that one fully as well. I'd like to do that and the scythe if there are enough materials. So, mm -hmm. we'll see. It's doing fine at three right now, but I'd like to get it at least to four pretty soon. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. Give me these. Okay, good there. Yeah, shout out to the idea, whoever had the idea to put the ergo drop in front of the boss fight instead of in it. <laughs> yes. So good. Yeah, uh, Dan and I have, have both lost several soul equivalent items in boss rooms. Oh, yes. An unfair amount, I would say. <laughs> A lot, yeah, for sure. Hey! Huh, I had enough for four levels. Go Not on. anymore! Yeah. Oh. It was especially bad in Elder Ring for me, because I would just not think about it, and then we'd fight a boss. Uh, and yep. then I'd forget to pick up my runes before fighting the boss again. Yeah, you could lose a lot of runes in Elden Ring, too, if you do that. Yeah, <laughs> yep. And it's the requirement so exponential as you level up. It's just, uh... though. This isn't good. Just noticing the little, like, scenario I'm in, like, nope, nope, that's bad. Mm. Oh, jeez. I'm glad that was your specter and not you. Yeah, agreed. That, that would have killed you outright. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Alright. So, let's swap this. Oh, now you guys are twinsies. That's right. In more ways than one. That particular set of bags yeah. is going to be the death of you. I think that's actually the boss, is the bags right there. <laughs> Makes sense. Oof. Man. Oh, yeah. Bags and platforms are our two biggest enemies. Correct. <laughs> An orphan of cross. He's number three on the list. <laughs> oh man. I will never not feel traumatized about cross. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that was a rough time. Ooh. Stop charging at me. All right. Well. Wow. Back that off. combo is just... That was like seven strikes yeah, in a row. Yeah, that is an absurd combo. Oh, Finally. come on. Oh, yeah. come on. It's, it was behind it him? It was behind him, right. yeah. That's not great. Ooh, okay. So the bags... Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on. Uh. Nope. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, you did it to me. That was weird. Oh, I 
knew it. Oh, that's okay. Yep. Bye. Got him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take that, you jerk. That's right. Eliminated. Ooh, a quartz. I like that. Will we have enough to get the eh, that extra sleep? Eh. <laughs> I'm so angry. Angry. So angry. So angry. Um, will we have enough quartz to get that extra legion arm you, now? You know, that's a good question. I can go check that. Because I think we need two more, right? I think that's right. Oh, hey, we got to talk to somebody at Hotel Crown as well. Well, there's also someone to talk to here. Oh, really? Should, so, I, should I have done that first? Uh, I, I guess ultimately it won't matter. Okay. I'm just so excited about the quartz, man. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a, there's an interesting conversation to have just down like the way from that stargazer, so. Okay. I would recommend doing it first once we check the quartz. Okay. We will do that. I'll go get um, some fruit as well. <laughs> ah, everything is wrecked. Ah. ah. Yeah, it really is. You know, <laughs> I can't help myself. But think about the gold coin fruit as basically just um, <laughs> chocolate coins. Chocolate coins. <laughs> yeah, you know the gold coins that are like wrapped in the the, the gold foil the or whatever. Foil. <laughs> yep, yep. I can <laughs> see that. I, yeah. <laughs> it was like it's a fruit. You would peel it. Technically, mm. I. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna do pulse cells. Yep. There it is. Now we can have a second legion arm. That's going to be really helpful, I think. Yeah, I'm real curious about that. Let's go take a look. That's a whole mechanic I've been really excited about. So we'll grab the fruits first. But yeah, now I've got nine heals. That is excellent. Yeah, we can always use some more heals. Wow, that tree is looking kind of rough. Yeah, a little bit. Some gold coins. Oh, I guess I could buy some more stuff here. Hold on. So it's not as shiny as it usually is. I think it's wilting. Could be. <laughs> oh my god. You alright, buddy? Mr. Stalker, it's you. Uh, I thought it was the intruders again. Oh. oh, we never actually talked to him since the attack. We have it's not. A relief, you're safe. I, I, I was helpless, uh, hiding the entire time. This is my first time coming back out. Oh, buddy. Uh, you surprised me, uh, but make no mistake, you're always welcome here, Mr. Stalker. Let me know if there's anything you need. Okay. Mm. Stalker, please. Stalker. Let's see. Okay. Oh, you can hold more wish stones now, too. Can we? Well, that's the whole slot right there, right? Mm, yeah. Hang on. So four? The last time I looked at you could only hold, like, two or three. So this is recovery and indomitable. Buy a few more of these. We haven't bought these in a while. Uh, I'm saying we could buy another type here. Let's see. Explodes when the I specter think... is hit. That's a cool one. <laughs> yeah. <it is. laughs> specter is hit. Let's do this one. Switch. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fables charge amount. This one's good in general, but for bosses, bringing in the specter. I think those are good. Okay. Yeah, I haven't really needed a respec or anything in a while, so. Yeah, I wonder if um, when we were teleporting back here, if that was who was there or if there's someone else to talk to here. I don't really know. Uh, No, yeah, there's... Um, oh, actually, it might have been... How did you say that? No, no, it's not. No, that looks like maybe Vanini. Okay, but you're saying um, talk to somebody here first, right? Yes, because okay. we'll need to talk to Vanini after we talk to them. Okay. Anyway, so sounds outstanding. It's the perfect plan. All right, I need to fix the. I need to try out the arms thing. I'll do that when we go back. All right. Is he through? Like past here, I guess. Yeah, you're. I, I. Without spoiling anything, you're not going to be happy. I'm just going to say that. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. The pain is coming. Oh no. <laughs> I'm afraid. Okay, 
I give up. Just don't kill me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Problem? Look oh. who it is. Amazing. Alidoro. I didn't expect you to thrash those rabbit fellows too. You're here looking for Geppetto, aren't you? The fox and the cat have got that old man. They ah. took the submarine from that dock over there. They probably went to the alchemist's isle. Ah, which is where there we should be another go. one. You should commandeer it. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see anything. There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, uh, I didn't see anything. Fascinating. We have the option uh, to attack him. <clears throat> yeah. So let's 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 just chit chat with him for a minute. Okay. Let oh. me. <laughs> Good choice. I, Alidoro, am too great a treasure hunter to just disappear. My admirers would wonder. See for yourself. I sell only the best treasure. Aware. Uh, I was just gonna check his shop first here. I don't think mm -hmm. there's anything we can get. Point because we don't have enough. Yeah, there's nothing new at least. You do new game plus. I'm getting this. <laughs> <laughs> there should be something left at the dock. About the reason for betraying the hotel. All right, here we go. I'm just yeah. Here with no special obligation to the hotel, but if you still want to hear. <laughs> You the traitor. alchemist said they would yep. help me escape from the city. Talk about an offer I couldn't refuse. I can't live in the hotel forever. I need to move up and move on. Also, there was someone who was so annoying. That's all. Does that suffice? No. <laughs> there should be something. No, because he's talking about Eugenie too, and I like Eugenie. I oh, really? No. Yeah. Eugenie, because she's no, a, no. She's a big fan of his, right? Right. All she is but, is like, oh, he's awesome. Here, bring him this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and he like he was disgusted by the glove that she offered and everything else. This guy is a total piece of crap. Yeah, I hate this guy. Oh my god. About his identity. Right. I had a feeling you would ask sooner or later. It's because of that girl, isn't it? I am not Alidoro the Hound. Not the real one, anyway. I used to be Alidoro's partner. You used to well, that's interesting. Him, to be honest. <laughs> he was amazing. Amazing at everything, except making a profit, that is. Uh -huh. But he didn't need so to did you kill him? Just because I sold some antiques. The, the real Aldoro, yeah. What's a few antiques when you've got bills to pay? We argued. One thing led to another. And oh, you. I had to kill him. But stealing his identity was the logical next step. My original code name is Parrot, after all. Fitting, isn't it? Oh, he was also from the country of the morning. Maybe he shares some blood with the girl. Oh, that explains why. That's my story. Mm-hmm. Tragic tale. Do you want to hear more? There should be something left at the dock. If anyone asks, I, I didn't see anything. Yeah, sure. A real tragic tale for everyone but you. <laughs> yep. Murdering piece of crap. Should we kill him? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I would. Okay. I was just wondering, like, attack Aldoro, what's the... Do we know, like, what that will do? Uh, you will get a cryptic vessel from Aladoro. Okay. Um, and we will be able to purchase boss items later from a different person, so you're not losing that ability. Okay, and there's absolutely nothing we benefit from just leaving him alone, right? Not that I can see. Okay. Oh, and also, after hearing say, how he treated you Eugenie... Yeah. You're going to I was just like, unless there's a very good reason... I know you are. <laughs> you're Geppetto's puppet, aren't you? If someone isn't trying to kill you, you can't hurt them either. That's not funny true. story. That limitation makes it seem like your creator didn't trust you very much. Smart of him. Mm. So, what will it be, Mr. Handsome Idiot? Leave quietly? Or shut up and buy something? Okay, well, how about my sword through your chest? Attack. <laughs> Got to be joking. Don't come any closer. Come on. Look at that. You're weak sauce. Like I thought that was going to be a big old fight, and it was not. Nope. <laughs> nope. He he dies like the piece of rubbish that he is. Yup. Great Fanini collection. Yes. So those are the two things we needed to get. So now we can return to Hotel Crot. Okay. Give the... Um, oh, this is across from that. Okay. 
yeah, give give Vanini or um, Puccinella the Puccinella. collection, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and uh, get uh, um, Vanini to decrypt the cryptic vessel. Okay. Got lots of stuff to do, man. I didn't really see that coming. Although it makes a lot of sense because the glove didn't fit that she was giving him, right? Right. Yeah, of course it didn't. He's not the real Alidoro. That, yeah, that was so much worse than I thought it was going to be. Actually, yeah, that was that was <laughs> awful. That was oh my god. So so because I had to read ahead a little bit, I knew that he had betrayed the hotel, which I'm already mad about him for that. Yeah, indeed. But then to learn that he wasn't the original Alidoro, yup, it put so many pieces together. Mm hmm. All right. So we can equip both of these. Let's modify. So I think. Yeah, those are your two arms that are fully yeah. decked out, too, right? Yeah, they're uh, fully upgraded. Um, this one. The mines. The fire one is cool. Uh, I don't know that I have much of an opinion right now. Let's just sit on that for a moment. Yeah, I'd say keep what we got for now. But now, I think. How do I switch these? Um, that is a great question. So that's how you use it. It's a left trigger. Oh wait, switch legion arm. Oh, there you go. That's awesome. So now I can use this, and if I'm in a more defensive position, I can uh, swap switch over. Switch to your ages. Yeah. Yeah, I can use that. That's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, that's a good. That was a good one to get. I like that. Yeah, for sure. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's talk with some people here. Okay. Yep. So give Puccinella the. Um, that's that's Palandina. Puccinella is this one why, over here. Why do I keep doing that? They both start with a P. All right. <laughs> they do. Priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Shop goods. Great Vanini collection. Ah, yep. Master Vanini's collection box. You have been busy, sir. The House of Vanini of deals only in masterpieces and works of special genius, sir. And I'm pleased to say that for you, the private reserve is open. Heck yeah. Radiant. So now you should have some House decent stuff to get. Even. Um. Yeah. Specifically, the Lada Fiber Reinforced Liner, Multi-Layer Liner, and the Spaced Armor Liner. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just buy these. So most of those are probably just straight upgrades to the previous versions of them. Yeah. Tempt to... Oh. Yep. <laughs> I'll buy that one. Oh, yeah. Those are the grindstones specifically that you put on the... Yeah. On your repairer, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I think... I don't remember how to switch it. Is it her? Uh, no, I think it's the... Um, Is it this? No. I think Vanini does it for you, actually. Okay. Maybe. I think we need to talk to him anyway, right? We do, yes. I can hardly believe it. But the ergo readings you gathered leave no doubt. No doubt at all, you see? Okay, Vanini, breathe. Despite your best efforts, they can't read your mind yet. My friend, <laughs> my apologies. But when you hear this news, you'll be excited too. The puppets were being compelled by the Grand Covenant. But they were communicating with each other, with wavelengths. Ah. This hmm. is beyond anything I'd imagined. They were not built with this kind of intelligence. I did the best I could to decipher the wavelengths, but there was considerable noise in the signal. Care to give it a listen? Sure. Oh, that's interesting. Carlo, I hope you can hear me. The laws of the Grand Covenant bind us. We're his puppets. First law. All puppets must obey the Creator's commands. Law Zero. The Creator's name is... Geppetto. Giuseppe Geppetto. Hmm. 
Did you hear that? The last part sounded important, but there was too much static. Ah, so he couldn't hear the name. Please. Yeah. We need to find the cause of the frenzy, and this may be our best chance. So Geppetto was behind it. What? Well, that's the implication, right? Was behind mm -hmm. the frenzy. Yeah. Because they have to obey the. Oh, Lie. um, this is a very important choice. Uh, I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear. Okay. Really? <clears throat> Sorry, that time limit. I was trying to find where the answer was. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I've tried everything I can think of, but I keep coming up empty. All I wanted was to stop anyone else getting hurt. At least hurt by murderous puppets. Not even I can abolish all pain everywhere. Ah, no, you cannot give up, Venini. You are Venini, and Venini always finds the solution. I think we can't put it off any longer. Geppetto is the last hope we have. I've exhausted my talents here. These clues, I could find them, but interpreting them is beyond my abilities. We need the man himself. Mm -hmm. You must save him, compagno. You and Geppetto are the only ones who can save Krat. Okay. Warmth. Yeah, so it's strongly implying that Geppetto is behind it. The question is, is it intentional? Yeah. It, so if if the King of Puppets has to obey the creator I don't know what to think. Oh, sorry. over the laws. I didn't get to repay him yet. Honestly, I did think it was strange. The more I saw of him, the more different he seemed from the person I knew. Okay, talking about Alidoro. I wonder what the real Alidoro was like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, go with. He, I think he was a talented stalker. Is it true? It's a hard thing to let go. Never getting the chance to know the real hero. He died so suddenly. How sad. I don't know what happened, but I hope it was painless and he's at peace. Thanks for finding uh. out about his death. Here's a gift. <clears throat> hey, look at this. Even if it was the real Elodoro, like. She should not be treated like that. Like, she is a treasure. Right. <laughs> right. So, if you end up playing a new game plus mm. at this point, if you choose that he was uh, murdered by the fake one, you'll get a different record. Okay. So, that's how you get the other records. Far East Princess, the candlelight burned and yearning for you. Don't tell me you love me. Today is all I have. An exotic melody to melt the heart. Far East Princess comes to you from across the wide ocean. You're here. That's a okay. All right. So you were saying, I I'm sorry, I didn't know that was going to start a new thing. <laughs> uh, oh, if because it, because rule zero. Yes. Is that the creator must be obeyed above all. Mm -hmm. It's it's like the it supersedes the other three laws. Yes. So if so if. If by that logic, if Geppetto did in fact start the frenzy, mm -hmm. then it would have to ignore the other three laws in dealing the damage it did to the humans. Yeah. And that says a lot about the character of Geppetto if that's actually what happened. Yep. Yep. Because he could. You still need to talk to Vanini again, by the way. Okay. For the cryptic vessel. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I always welcome friends. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, it's all good. Let's decipher this vessel real quick here. Que bello! A brand new design. No, a whole new model. What a thrill! <laughs> and there we are. Done. Even a brand new model doesn't stand a chance when you're dealing with genius. But the device bordered on genius itself. Required all my intellect. If you ever meet the creator, get me their calling card, won't you? Sure, why not? No, oh, sorry, I'm sure you're busy. Just let me know if you ever find out. Hmm. Dear beloved sister, please forgive your brother for leaving without telling you anything. What? I'm keeping this letter even though I don't know when I'll be able to send it. I'm being chased because I know the biggest secret of Krat. 
I'll probably be able to see you if the alchemists are gone from this land, but I'll have to watch you from afar until that day. I plan to protect you until at least we can live here in peace, just like how I saved you from the workshop tower. It would be wonderful if people from learn the truth one day. But some truths are better left unknown. Among the alchemists, I saw all too often how cruel humans can become. After seeing all the experiments and nightmares they were responsible for, I came to believe that there is no god. Instead of revealing myself and risking your life, I chose to vanish forever. Still, please remember me if you ever read this letter. We came from across the wide ocean. I hope there is only truth in your life and you leave your name here. I know people here call you Eugenie as their way, but the name will protect you. You remember your real name, or please remember your real name. Your name is... The end of the passcode deciphers damage, so it's unrecognizable. You're just getting the reveals in this episode. For Eugenie specifically, I feel so bad for her. I know. Gosh, she's such a cool person, too. Yeah, and just like constantly. Ugh. We talked what to her about a reveal. This. Yeah. You are here. Yeah, no options to give her that. Wow. Let's see. I'm curious what her real name was. Yeah, me too. Strange. It feels like a portion of my memory has been cut away from me. It oh, hurts yeah. so much. It's not like a real wound, but still. Yeah, all right. I think that's what she was talking about before. Anything from yeah. To what fate brings serving her? Welcome to hope. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to rest at the Stargazer. Do any leveling up you may want to do. Where is Sophia, by the way? Uh, I don't know. Uh, not a clue. Is she not? Yeah, is she not around? Maybe she's upstairs. Hmm. Oh, maybe. I figured she would have come down by now. Yeah, I have no idea. Let's see. Sophia! What you doing? Hmm. Mm, she's in. She uh, mysteriously gone. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, indeed. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you still level up and stuff. So if you got any levels you want to get, now's the time to do it. Interesting. <laughs> oh, hang on. That's not meant to be ominous. I just meant you're here. You might as well do it. Yeah, indeed. Uh, these are the ones we just got, I think, right? Yeah. What am I doing right now? Multi-layered. Okay. So it's down by... Okay. Eh, we'll just stick with this one. That'll be fine. Okay, I'm slightly heavy at the moment. Alright. Just trying to determine which of these that I want to level. So we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, and 30 is kind of the soft cap for technique and motivity. Okay. Yeah, so we're we're, do we're doing pretty well. We're definitely not doing an advanced build, of course. Right. Um, okay. And... All right, uh, talk to Vanini. Okay. He's got one other thing for us. Okay. Hey, man. You may not be aware, but uh, I am an orphan. In fact, my parents were murdered before my very eyes. The authorities in Krat insisted it was a mugging, but I know what I saw. A man and then I became Batman. A puppet, <laughs> a puppet that was driven by a murderous lunatic's awakened ego. I know that because the lunatic told me his name. Ooh. Arlecchino. I'll never forget oh. his insane laugh. Yeah, we just that's I have really been interesting. Mm -hmm. with the Grand Covenant to ensure no one else ever has to experience the same tragedy I did. But this is our last shot. The last clue. If this doesn't break through the static, then nothing will. Hmm. But the key to all this is Geppetto. He's really our only hope. And it's up to you to save him. Go on and take the wavelength decoder. Even if I failed, you might be able to find more clues. You're someone who doesn't give up. Who knows? If you need to hear it, just use the stargazer. Here, take it. Of course I don't give up. I'm the main character. 
Right. I wonder if that decoder is like the lunar narrative reason why you can understand the puppets in New Game Plus. Oh, you know what? I could see it. Yeah, we got to be getting pretty close <laughs> to the end here. Mm-hmm. Well, we are. We're officially in the last chapter of the game. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So here, use the like puppet's message. Yep. Carlo, I hope you can hear me. Yeah, it's the same one. I'm Romeo. Oh no, it's not. We grew up together in the Monad Charity House. Remember? We're best friends. I'm doing what I can to fend off both the petrification disease and the alchemists. My puppets and I are taking a stand against death itself. That's why I tried sending you messengers. But you got rid of them all. You're still an unstoppable fellow. I remember you. No reason for us to fight, I suppose. Hmm. I'm Romeo. We grew up together in the Monad Charity House. Remember? We're best friends. I'm Romeo. We're best friends. Whoa. That is really interesting. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Okay, so I know we've talked about how uh, P is mm -hmm. probably very likely some kind of simulacrum or uh, uh, surrogate mm -hmm. for Carlo, right? Carlo's spirit mm -hmm. specifically. Like, Geppetto put a lot of care into it. Can't and this right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and Carlo was his son. Right. That died. Uh, that's the assumption, at least. Died tragically. Yeah, that's... That seems like it's a fair assumption. No, I need right. To go to the other side. Um, and so, the... 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 Theory I had for a long time... Mm-hmm. Is that the specter in these fights is like an embodiment of Carlo's actual spirit? That seems right to me because it's just so similar. Right. But now I'm curious if maybe it's Romeo. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then who was Romeo? Uh, where are we going next, by the way? Oh, we're going back to the Trismegistus combat field. Okay. Let's keep it going. But yeah, and do we know anything else about Romeo beyond these two messages we got? No, this is the first time we've even heard the name, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so maybe we're finding out who that is. That's interesting. Hey, he's the king of puppets, and we've talked about, or we've learned, that the, um, the puppets basically take a human soul, mm -hmm. and if that soul gets awakened... They regain, like, memories and stuff. Right. Which is why we have Vanini talking about the Awakened Puppet, uh, who is also the King of Riddles. Yes. Um, Arlecchino. It was a total yeah, Arlecchino. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood, the Fox, the Cat, and Aladoro, too. I don't even want to guess what they might be planning, pal. This way must lead to their headquarters, shall we? Yup. So... So perhaps Geppetto, if he's able to pick souls, which kind of makes it feel like he can, given what if 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 the truth of P being Carlo is there, right? Then maybe he picked Romeo to be the King of Puppets. Could be, and we fought the King of Puppets, right? So we did. Look, that lever resembles. Yes, it seems we can use it to call a submarine. Quiet, Gemini. We're talking. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're having we're having lore discussions. Exactly. Rude. It's so rude. <laughs> I'll read this in a second. Yep, yep. Like, so, and and the the King of Puppets, as we learned, was actually being driven by like a smaller puppet. Mm -hmm. So you know, maybe that like, was Romeo. Like, yeah, like maybe that is the true like Romeo there. Yeah, and I could see it. The King of Puppets, I imagine, would have to have more consciousness of his past perhaps or something that would make sense to, to me yeah to control the other ones right mm -hmm. as as the central focal point right so that's lots of questions with no answers but <laughs> right 
<laughs> uh, the great Vanini and Pistris the submarine. You're all invited to the launching ceremony of Vanini Company's new submarine, the Pistris. Come and see the Pistris' dashing dignity. Size 42.2 meters by 3.8. Displacement 332 or 322 tons. Uh, speed above water 12 knots, underwater 7 knots. Mm. Propulsion method Lorenzini engine and lead acid batteries. Ooh, lead acid batteries. Ooh, <laughs> high pressure environments. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So that is not a good combination. Why is that? <laughs> um, because lead acid uh -huh. batteries are already in a high pressure state. These add more pressure, yeah. And yeah, they explode. Right. I mean, I'm. Um, okay, so... I, I happen to... By the way, viewers, I happen to be aware that Austin knows a lot about batteries, so... <laughs> I am asking I, this well, on I, purpose. <laughs> yeah, so I I used to work at a store that sold a lot of batteries, so... Yep. Um, so, like, car batteries are a type of lead-acid battery. Mm -hmm. So think about it like that. Now, those... The, all of our batteries nowadays are built with, like, these safety vents, and so, you know, you could be all right. But, like, it's if something happens to that battery and acid begins to spill out onto your other electrical components, yeah, that's bad. It's going to cause a lot of problems. Okay. <laughs> if, if a battery becomes overcharged, and this is especially true with sealed lead acid batteries, which, um, a common battery you might think of that's a sealed lead acid would be like the ones that go in your APC units. Mm -hmm. Um, or the, the backup BPSs, right? Yep. If those get overcharged for any reason, they will swell. Mm-hmm. And the swelling, if it didn't have a way to vent properly, could cause the battery to explode. Makes sense. That's, that's bad. I, <laughs> right, yeah. And that's a lot of pressure. Uh -huh. So you take all these lead-acid batteries, which I imagine are not small and multiple in number. Mm-hmm. And you put them in a submarine. <laughs> I am very uncomfortable with that idea. Yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> so, uh. um, but yeah, no, that's so that's why there's a lot of like regulations with how they vent. Mm -hmm. And um, having seen my fair share of vented batteries, it's still like not great, but it could have been a lot worse. I've definitely seen batteries that have come through where I was like. Did you inflate it with an air tube? Like, what happened here? <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, I, I've seen lithium-ion batteries swell up, but that's a little different than a lead-acid battery, I think, right? It, it's, this, it's the same general concept. Yeah. Anything that gets overcharged once it's been exhausted, mm -hmm. which when you start seeing foam batteries, which are the common, like, lithium-ion, lithium, -ion, lithium uh, polymer type. Or, or laptops, yeah. Right, yeah. Same thing. When that's happening, when they're when they're swelling at that point, it's because you've overcharged it so much because it should have been replaced like three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, <laughs> had that happen, and it can like mess up the board. Uh, if you're talking about laptops, yes. it can mess up your board or your keyboard or your trackpad and stuff like that, depending on yep. where the battery is. But yeah, with phones also, it could you know cause big problems yeah. for sure. <laughs> uh, I think I think actually older MacBooks are especially prone to that. Yes, they are. Uh, screwing up your hardware yeah they correct so. yeah but older macbooks you can pull the battery off they they weren't built in with the old that's true. ones now that's not yeah. the case anymore that i know of but yeah used to be able and then you could just buy a new battery um yep so it's no longer that way nope they don't make money that way you gotta have replace the whole laptop or at least pay an arm and a leg to replace the battery <laughs> to which a point you might as well have been like well i might as well just buy a new one uh-huh since it's going to cost at least as much as one uh-huh Anyway, <laughs> anyway, battery battery tangent. Mm -hmm. It's a good tangent. <laughs> yep. Uh, the pistress moves with Mr. Vinny's newest motivity organ. Oh, that's a delightful word. Mm -hmm. A patented product named after Mr. Vanini, the new method that generates a bigger electric output by electrically stimulating ergo. All right, lead acid battery is a supplementary power. On top of that, it serves as a ballast on the bottom of the submarine, such as an innovative design. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> a one-time chance to take a peek to the future of Krat, the city of science. Don't miss out. Come join us. Science! I mean, this makes sense in, like, a steampunk era type of design. Yeah, absolutely. It totally makes logical sense why they would do that. Benini! Oh. Logo. Yeah, that's a cool logo, actually. Yeah, I like that. 
Oh, um, yeah, pull this lever. Yeah, pull, All right. pull the lever. Do it. Yep. Oh, helps if I press the right button. Ah, uh, yes, getting sidetracked by random nerd knowledge again. Uh huh. It happens. It does. We can talk that, about this House comes again. From working years of yeah, we can talk <laughs> yeah. about Star Wars, you know, whatever. Right. Uh, this is how you actually make the B-Wing with lead acid batteries? Let's not do that. All right, time to get in an exploding submarine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Don't worry about it's it. It's fine. <laughs> Just because I'm uncomfortable doesn't mean anything will go wrong. Nothing ever goes wrong in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Never, ever. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got shark teeth. That's great. <laughs> That's the most extra way. Nice landing, but uh, <laughs> let's not make it a habit. <laughs> what the? Ah. Hey, it's Sophia. There she is. What brings you here to this remote, very cold place? I love her jacket. You're a clever one. Yeah. So it shouldn't surprise you that the Sophia at the hotel isn't really me my real self is on the upper part of the abbey mm -hmm. i became his tool a long time ago i have endured such pain my soul split into pieces truth mm. is i guided you this far not to save cropped but to save me Por que no los dos? Yeah. But I was so elated when you answered my call. Despite it all, I thank you. My spirit and my body have lived apart for too long. Perhaps in death, I will reunite. In peace. I'll grant you my power before my spirit diminishes further. Stargazer will guide you, clever one. If you find my body, please help me find peace. My guidance ends here. After images of memories rage on the seaside because of Ergo, please be careful. Mm. Oh, that's got some interesting implications. Yes, it does. I can't hold out forever, but I'll support you. Okay. Yeah, let's let's some chit chat about Simon, Simon here. I am the daughter of Valentinus, leader of the alchemists. Simon was my father's right hand man. Interesting. Ambition overwhelmed him, however, and he spread the petrification disease. Taking countless lives. Hmm. Why would he do that? I don't know. But he brings a dark world upon us. That's for certain. Stop him. However you can. Okay. Meaning of the tool. The petrification disease freezes time and memory within the afflicted body. Huh. Ergo is the purified essence of that life trapped by the petrification disease when i discovered that it opened my eyes and i was able to manipulate time using ergo time what simon on the other hand is trying to use my power to fuel his ambition i wound back your time to protect you so you could stand against him. So stop him. Save Krat. Wound back time. It explains the clock. Yeah. Like pocket watch. Yeah. Okay. I can't hold out. Well, that's all we can get from her at this point. Interesting. I I honestly find that more confusing than revealing, though. Yeah. So the wound back time is striking me as personal timeline, not like time itself. Sure. Um, but it's still confusing. Don't don't get me wrong. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. So <laughs> this problem. So whenever we we die, right? There's a clock, mm -hmm. and it has a has like a a, a counterclockwise motion. Right. 
So maybe that's what is being referred to here is like when we die and head back to the stargazer, we are reversing our time. Yeah, I guess maybe it's the tense of her words that's confusing me then because it, it seemed to be saying that at some point she wound back our time, but that could be oh, what you, she means. Yeah, or it could be both. Yeah. It could be. It could be both. It could just be that that's being represented visually whenever we die. Is that rewound time? This place is crazy looking. It is. Um, but yeah, and then the petrification disease and what that is like. And ergo, so we function on ergo, but it's the life essence of a human. Um. Which is specifically pulled from the petrification disease. Let's see, this is what I keep getting hung up on, mm -hmm. right? Because Ergo was being used to create the puppets. Right. But it's pretty obvious the puppets existed before the petrification disease became the epidemic that it is. Right. So where's the Ergo coming from if not the petrified people? These look like petrified people. These are memories from the ergo, right? Yeah, they're memories. How many sleeps till daddy's back? Ten sleeps? Twenty? Soon enough, you know he's quite busy. Wally, why are you a friend? Oh. I was just about to say, this is probably Carlo's memories. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Ergo chunk. The girl sounded a little bit like Sophia. Yes, I was about to say that. Sounded like Sophia. Hello. Hi. Are you trained to be a stalker too? Well, let's practice together. Yeah. Call me Lampwick. Lampwick? Lampwick. Ooh, I see. Frazier, give me. Fragment. This place is. I'm really getting a little unnerved by there being no enemies. <laughs> Just like, when is something gonna pop out and attack me here? Oh, don't worry, that's coming up. Yeah. Just enjoy the trip while we got that's, it. That's what I was assuming. Is it at some point, time? Oh, that's that's just straight up skeletons. Yep. Maybe they are people who died from the petrification disease themselves. Perhaps. Hello. He didn't even come to your graduation. I don't care if an old man like that kicks the bucket. Don't say that. It's nice you got any family at all. Let's start talking about this. Oh, she's here. Grab her. What? Dim Ergo Crystal. Okay. Ergo Crystal. Hmm. This is feeling. Oh, I, okay. Mm -hmm. I think this is not the first time we've seen this, but I find it interesting that these flowers that represent the items are growing out of the bodies as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have seen that a few times, but <clears throat> excuse me, we have seen that a few times, but it has <laughs> been not quite as obvious, right? To me. Okay. Been obfuscated by other stuff a little bit. Yeah. That's Argo Fragments. Hello! Please teach me how to use a sword. You're a legendary stalker. Ugh, so annoying. Germany, get rid of her. I'm off. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh. Another dim ergo crystal. Hmm. Yeah, Jiminy is something else that we don't really know a whole lot about. Yep. Kind of forget with everything else that's been going on. He's our buddy. I would be okay yeah. if this area was just a little more narrow. Just, just, <laughs> just a little. Yeah, it's okay. I think we're approaching the end of it here soon. Yeah, it's a big old wasteland, but there's like treasure all over the place here, so I'm trying to grab all of it. Yeah. I because of the nature of this place, I have to really wonder 
Is this sand or ash? Yeah. I am not sure. It's a good question, though. Hello. Warmth. Mm-hmm. Yep. I just... We, we have to be carrying Carlo's spirit. Like, that's just... That's the only answer that makes sense to me. Like, I, the game will need to convince me otherwise. <laughs> right. Because it's just been hinted far too much. Yeah. Never explicitly so, but... Yeah. Strong enough that it is a... It'd be weird if it wasn't the case. Right. Yeah, okay, I'm seeing some enemies now. All right. Yep, so this area... I'm just going to read this, because I think it's kind of funny. Okay. This looks very bad, but let's take one thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... We just saw one of the scorpion beasts, like, walking back and forth. We're actually going to try to avoid it. Because there's going to be snipers who'll be shooting at you. Oh, uh, that's not good. Yeah, so we're going to have to rush the stairs, eliminate all the snipers. Uh, the suggestion is to approach from one of the sides. Mm-hmm. And then kind of stay close to the wall so snipers can't target you. This is still giving me more than motivity is. One, three, two, three. That's crazy. Yep. So I'm going to keep leveling the technique for a little bit, I think. <laughs> Points. Um... Anyway, there are snipers. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once the snipers are gone, then you can try to pull the scorpion beasts. There are more than one. Mm hmm So try not to pull more than one at a time. Look at that. Good grief. That is... Oh, that's where we saw Simon, like, after we beat the Puppet King, he showed up in that cutscene. Him being evil? Yeah. Yeah, right. So... Hello, I am Captain Evil. <laughs> Uh, uh, I am so villainous. <laughs> Aha. Yeah, so there's your... Whoa! The, the those... The only reason those qualify as snipers is because of how far away they can fire at me. Those are rocket... Uh, yeah. Rocket... Grenade... Launching... Meanie heads. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but we, we just gotta get up there without... Getting the scorpion dudes to follow us. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, and got stuck on those rocks. Yeah. All right, there we go. Ooh, this is cool looking. Yeah, it is. I'm digging this music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, this is not good. All right, give me that. And then run, because I knew that would aggro someone. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> well, maybe you can get them to shoot the dude, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there are problems. Decisions were made. Oh boy. Hey, Crescent Moonstone. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I'm not liking that. That's a uh... well, you know. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, oh, that's not good. Well, I mean, you fought these guys before; they're a pain. Yeah. On the plus side, they don't respawn. They don't respawn. No. So if you can get them, you know, then you're you're good. Of course, the real question is always, can you get them? Good. He got some chonky armor. Yep. 
You're literally bouncing off their leg. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh. You know, by himself, he wasn't too bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't... That wasn't the worst. It, it, they just look terrifying. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's... I was hoping I'd be able to roll after picking that up. That was a little greed. That's all right. Greed will never get you killed in a game like this, Dan. Yeah, it never has, and I don't continue to be greedy and get murdered for it <laughs> repeatedly. Of course. Right, exactly, because it, it won't kill you. It's fine. It's fine. It's completely fine, yeah. It's completely fine. It's okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get up these... Stay up. Take care of these jerk wads. Yup. That. That does an egregious amount of damage. It's so good. <coughs> okay. Oh, we're, yeah, let's, so there's those two over there, and then the two yeah, that direction. Let's kill these guys. Real quick. Listen here, you jerks. There we go. And we can break these, too. There we go. <laughs> oh, you can tell you're in the final dungeon. Well, <laughs> the choir has started. You're right. The bombastic choir has begun. So sad. It's just too... I, Adriana, recorded for the brothers and sisters, praise Pistris, the one who will swallow even God. Mm. Wow. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I, Pistris, shall tell you about ancient secrets. Mm -hmm. A star that was curious about humans pretended to be human, when then became one. The humans saw its splendor and called it an angel. Although its form was the same, its substance was different. The undying substance the breath of metal that lives forever. That is the reason humans wished for an angel. The angel gladly shared immortality with humans, but that blessing wasn't for everyone. Huh. Intriguing. Mm hmm. I really enjoy the literature in this game. It's It adds some really good flavor. Um, yeah. Different approach than like the souls, like, read the item descriptions thing, you know? Uh, which right, which yeah. you can do. I think there's still some item descriptions that give some yeah more lore here. I like item descriptions, just to be clear. Um, yeah. I really enjoy the like understated way lore is communicated, but I'm glad not every game does it. Right, I feel like this is a good mix of the two. Right, where like you get the major narrative beats through conversation and through uh, certain cutscenes and stuff. Right. Um, but, but the really fleshed out parts, the parts that make you go, huh, is in the, like, like you said, the literature you pick up, or in the descriptions of, like, records, right? Because mm -hmm. so we got that record from the, uh, <coughs> oh, what's her name? Uh, the, the woman in red, right? The opera singer? Yep. Like that had its own all its own thing. Oh, oh, that's not good. Hold on. <laughs> Why would you do that, Star Fox? Don't mind me. I am very, very good at aggroing a hundred thousand things. Don't I know it? <laughs> Oh. oh, nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> if you had missed. Got you right where I want you. Oops. Whiff. Yeah. How about this? There we go. Uh. All right. You got him. Yeah. 
That guy, those those things are rough. We can actually get yeah, I, over here now. I I could just see how bad it was going to be trying to fight both of them at once. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt about that. We pulled out the scythe and everything, do some spin to win, but still, like, yeah. <laughs> Not great. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know that there is much over here. It's just they spread out all this junk everywhere. Let's see. There's more, never mind. There's plenty of things. We must pick up every item. They're, of they're all needed. I need every dim ergo chunk. They're mine. Or something. <laughs> These are mine. These are mine. This These is, are mine. This is my world. <laughs> my world. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw you Man, lurking listen, around. Listen to that. Listen to that violin. I know. Oh, it's so pretty. The music in this game is top notch. I love it. It really is. Yeah. I I would love to take some time to actually like listen to just the music at some point. Yeah. Because I'm curious how many times a theme has blended over from one song into another. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Yeah. That's curious. Um, and it's it's something that I'm beginning to see a trend with video game composers in general. Hmm. Um, to some degree, not nobody really does it in the same way that like Koji Kondo does it with all of his Zelda music. Does what um, exactly? Where you have these overlying themes in other pieces of music. So, oh, pr prime example when we were playing Wind Waker, we were talking about how the melody for Kikarika Village can be heard in um, oh Windfall Island. Yeah, yeah. That, it's like a light motif, right? Yes, right. Like, so that um, da, 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 right, that part. Yep. If you slow it down a little bit is the beginning of Kikarika Village in Ocarina of Time. What in the hell just it's happened? It's the same notes. Oh, I don't, what is going on oh. right now? Can he, like, just disappear for no reason? I don't know, but I don't like this. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> wow, that was really bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Throw yeah, me off um, there. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Yeah. Um, and uh, another prime example, and we'll hear this whenever we go through Skyward Sword, mm. is the, the main theme for Skyward Sword, if you play it backwards mm -hmm. is essentially Zelda's lullaby. Yeah. Yeah. That the um, backwards uh I love that. Oh. Oh no. Hello. Um and Koji Kondo isn't the only one who does this. He's just the one that's most prevalent on my mind right now cuz I've seen some pieces recently about Echoes of Wisdom. Oh sure. Where uh, the overworld tune has a part of Zelda's lullaby in it, which I think is clever because Zelda is the person you're playing as. Yeah, that is clever. All right, so this boss is a li little unique. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to want to you're going to have to attack his leg until he's down for a fatal attack. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, no. Nope. It's saying that about three of them should be all you need, but this is going to be rough, I think. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> As I get pancaked. Right. Alright. Question is, which leg? I think it's that one. Oh, I'm, boy. I'm going to die. <laughs> Boy, he hits like a truck. Yeah. Build shock, too. Yep. There it is. Yep, 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 yep. That was cruel. Boy, that after has so all much that. more meaning now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it that is. was. Um, yeah. um, on leitmotif, though, uh, I will say there is a good bit of that in. In Xenogears, uh, as well, 
Um, mm. It's just that soundtrack is pretty limited um, when it comes to like, and, and we started to see this around the Shavat section where um, I believe it was Take Flight, or I, I don't remember the exact track name, but the the one that um, plays during Choo Choo's moment um, plays in a bunch of like other places where it just doesn't feel appropriate because mm. essentially they were losing resources by that time to finish the right. game the way they wanted to. So yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let me get up here at least. We got a boss door here. Yeah, yeah, this will be fine. Try this again, shall we? Um, but yeah, like there's there's a fair amount there. Um, there have been Mitsuda. Um, let's wait. Yeah, Mitsuda. Um, I think did uh, Chrono Cross as well, which has a good bit. Yeah, I mean Chrono Cross and Trigger actually both have music that is touted very highly. Yep. Um, Outstanding music. Right, um, and in fact, I believe um, the composer for Chrono Cross. I always get these confused. Which which one is the one where it's like the like sixteen bit and the traveling across time? Chrono Trigger. Okay. I always get them confused. I don't know why I can't keep them straight. But anyway, um, the composer for Chrono Trigger, I believe, contributed to at least one of the compositional pieces for Sea of Stars. Oh, really? Yeah, like he actually composed a piece for their game. That would not surprise and, me. And actually, I want to say the DLC that's coming out for Sea of Stars mm -hmm. in the near future has another piece written by that same composer okay. which i think is really cool yeah yeah that is cool because that's an that's like an indie game and they somehow are able to convince this well-renowned composer to take some time to write a unique to that game piece yep yeah i like that and sea of stars as i understand it has some chrono trigger influences but Yes. It, it's um, certainly not alone. There's like 100,000 JRPGs that have Chrono Trigger influences. There are a lot. Um, rightly right. so. It's a great game. Um, so just, yeah, it's yeah. just very common. But yeah, Sea of Stars has yeah. some other. I haven't played it, but I've heard it has some other things about it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So um, of the two of us, I have yeah. played it. I played it with my wife when it came out and it is a great experience and so for the viewers who are interested we actually are planning on putting that on our channel somewhat near future i can't give you exact times because persona 3 has taken up all of my life um yeah i'm gonna be playing sea of stars <laughs> i'm gonna be driving that one so um but i i think given what they do that has influences but also it's a unique flavor to it you'll you'll enjoy it yeah i feel like yeah i am um just personally speaking, like Chrono Trigger is um, not, it's not, I'm not a nostalgia. Uh, I don't have a lot of nostalgia for Chrono Trigger, is what I'm trying to say. Um, right. I like it. It's a good game. I like Cross more, personally, and that's a opinion that I know is pretty rare. Uh, but yeah, it's Cross is the one that means a lot to me from kind of when I was younger. So. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I haven't played Trigger at all myself. I know bits and pieces of it. We should put that on the. Um, yeah, we should play that here. That would be awesome. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. All right. Here's number one. <laughs> um, three. You sure? Oh, maybe two. Wow. Oh, okay. I see why the trick is that you have to knock him down because you're not doing any damage to him. Right. Oh, holy moly. Oh, jeez. Uh, we're going to be ending this episode so on the exact type of enemy I can't stand fighting. Yes. Yes, we will. Oh, my God. Get away from me. Quit <laughs> smashing the entire ground. Stop it. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I, I love listening to 
what composers do musically with with video games because come on it's unique it's the uniqueness of the medium yeah because film does the same thing right where they have their own like uh, it's especially common in, say, like a Broadway production where you'll have a reprise of a melody, but it'll have its own, like, flavor to it. Right. Um, it's kind of like that, but I feel like when game composers do it, it's so much more subtle a lot of times. Oh, that didn't work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but it's so fitting to what you're dealing with, and a lot of times you may not even realize it's happening. You've got to oh, be are kidding, you kidding me. Are kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> hey. No. Hey. Hey. Guess what? Rage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I had him. That's so frustrating. All right. Well, uh, nothing for it. Continue. <laughs> right. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> oh man, I can't up <laughs> stupid head bonk. Let's make an enemy that just smashes the ground for 80 miles around it repeatedly. Brilliant. I'm pretty sure he just. Let's repeat that sure. on tons of bosses in this genre. <laughs> I am fairly certain he just looked at you funny and it pushed you back like 15 feet. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Yeah. The guy hits so hard. He does. He hits really hard. I think that's what's part of what makes this particular boss so challenging. Yeah. Yeah, if you can get some good blocks, um, it's okay, but, yeah. Right. But anyway, just from personal experience, I, I I love hearing that overlap. And it's... When you talk about leitmotif, you're talking about specific melodies that kind of maintain their presence in the way that they're presented. So the example that made me understand what leitmotif is, is the Soul of Cinder from Dark Souls 3, mm -hmm. uh, where the second phase incorporates Gwen's theme into it but it's, it's right. that's not what the song is it's not it's not the Gwen fight it is it's got an undercurrent of it and it's the same it's the plim plim plon right right <laughs> I like that's it. what everybody calls it <laughs> ah. that's excuse me why I take 15 sledgehammers to the face good grief Oh man! Come on! Oh well, hey, at least you blocked it. Yeah, it didn't stop me from getting tossed across the room, but at least I blocked it. Yeah. Yep. I listen. You can get t tossed across the room as much as you want, as long as you're not taking damage from it. Right. Exactly. Um. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. So I think. Uh, hold on. Trying to decide if I need to sneeze or not. <laughs> okay. Um, I think what makes uh, to go back to Kondo for a second yeah. here. What makes his unique is that Brief. with light motifs, it's in general. This is not always the case, but in the way you're describing it, it's almost like someone took a, made made like a crossover song and like mashed them together a little bit. It's more it's more nuanced and way cleaner than that, but... Sure, sure. Um... Ah. With what what makes... What Kondo does unique, and, um... You know, other composers do this again. This is not exclusive to Kondo. It's just this is the one I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Is that... It's, it's a melodic line that harkens to a different era. Right. But it's... But it's not necessarily that actual song. Um, like you said with with winds, clim clim plom. Yep, yep, right. Yep. It's it's immediately recognizable in that. Mm -hmm. um, and then with like the windfall and Kikrika Village, which is a little more obvious, admittedly. It's still kind of subconscious level of understanding that that's what's happening. Mm -hmm. Like, unless it's pointed out, you probably wouldn't think about it. Or if you're actively looking for how it works. So, um, it's, it still is that light motif. It's just 
a little different in the way they approach it, and I, 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 I like any use of it, right? Anytime you can thematically, musically bring a player back to a specific scene, that was a dangerous choice. Yep. I'm very low on health, and I have no heals, and there we go. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. oh, man, that the, uh, the liar die has so much more impact now. Yep. <laughs> Knowing that time shenanigans are involved. Yep. Yep, it does. <laughs> uh, yeah, does that does that mean that uh, I one-shot everything, technically, in the universe because time literally rewinds? Or does that mean the puppet is rewound, the personal timeline? And so, for me, I've only done it once, but copies of me, they're like alternate timelines that split off each time you die, as far as an oh, outside don't. observer is concerned. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I am doing that on purpose a little bit, so, yeah. I know, like, you know how much I struggle with any time conceptions. <laughs> like, I love the discussion, but like, oh boy, you're gonna, I'm gonna get lost for like the next 30 years trying to explore that. So will P, ah ha ha ha, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, for sake of simplicity, I'm going to say, the puppet's timeline is rewound, but because the soul inhabits the puppet, mm -hmm. it retains the memories of the encounters. Okay. I'll accept that. <laughs> God, this guy is brutal. That was stupid. All right. <laughs> This is why you don't wear one shoe. <laughs> what? He's like, I'm like ankle biting his one vulnerable leg because he forgot to put one of his shoes on or something. Like, just such a dumb. <laughs> Stop hitting me. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> no! Wait. Uh. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna start calling this dude a Goron with as much as he, like, rolls at you like a brick. Yeah. Like a, like a boulder. Those freaking gigantic tanks on his back. Door, door Guardian, a.k.a. the Avalanche. The Juggernaut. Oh. I'm the Juggernaut. I mean, it's a good thing he forgot his knee brace on the other leg, okay? Yep. Otherwise, we would have no no chance. That's right. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, this is... It feels like this fight is purely an exercise in rote memorization of when to block. Yep. Yeah, okay. Ooh. That was deceptive. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Woo! Okay. Nope. Do not fall We're on not me. Gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna get headbutted again. Yeah. Look, he puts a crack in the ground when he lands. I didn't even notice that before. Get out of here. Nice. Uh. Hey, you got a high-level alchemist badge out of it. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what that does. I don't know. This is the alchemist evolved, though. I wouldn't want to do with it. Unlocking device. Okay, so we can open a door. Yeah, the door that's right in front Wake of us. Wake up, evolve, ascend. Yep. And there's probably going to be a stargazer not far from inside the door. Here's badge. This place is cool. I like this place. Yep, here we are. Perfect, so we got through that hard stuff. Oh, that guy was... Whew. <laughs> that guy was annoying to fight. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see here. 3, 2, 2, 4. Yeah, it's starting to change a little bit. 
Okay. That's close enough to where I'll grab a motivity, I guess. Yep. So we, we went a little long, but I wanted to make sure we got through this yep. portion, because I knew that that was going to be some rage bait for you. We have made our way into the Abbey, though, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah. This place is awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this place. Yep. This one is a pretty big area, it looks like. So, um, if I had to guess, probably at least two more episodes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're closing um, in on maybe, the maybe three. close of the story here, it looks like, at the end. Yep. Definitely getting close. So, yeah, at least two or three more episodes. And then, um, at some time between recording... Dan and I will discuss if we want to reveal any new Game Plus information, including what the puppets say. Yeah. Or not. Yeah, we, we could do like a compilation. Um, we could do an entirely second playthrough of you. If that is something we want to do, we'll probably circle back to this game, but yeah. Uh, or we could do it yeah. immediately after if that's what everybody wants to do. I, I, I'm loving this game. This is a really fun game, so... Um, yeah. Dan will have no qualms. He can do New Game Plus all he all day. Yep, yep. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll consider that, and if there's something you want us to do or have an opinion, let us know in the comments. Yeah. That's what they're there for. Um, yeah, and <laughs> so. let us know if you have any opinions on kind of the musical stuff we were talking about. I'm real curious if anybody has any of their favorite examples of leitmotif. Or, you know, any other comments about this game or another game or what tea you're drinking or, you know, whatever whatever <laughs> random comments right. you want to make. We appreciate them. We read them. Right. Related to the game or otherwise, we just enjoy, uh, you know, engaging with you. Mm -hmm. So, please. And, of course, if you've been enjoying what you've been watching, please do the algorithm stuff, too. That really helps us a lot. So, you know, subscribe, like, tell people how some goofballs are playing Liza P, uh, you know, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It'll, it'll help us uh, continue to grow the channel, which means we can continue providing content. So, please. Um, and if you're not, you know, wanting to wait around for the next episode of Liza P, we do have plenty of other games that you can uh, peruse through. I know we brought up Xenogears at least once already. It seems to be a recurring theme for us just because of how much content is there. Yeah. So it's a great starting point, even though it wasn't our first recording, mm -hmm. <laughs> ironically. Um, but we also have, like, our Tea Time Tuesday stuff. With like Little Kitty Big City and uh, Coffee Talk and Unpacking Mika and the Witch's Mountain. Yes. We've got uh, Legends of the Wind Waker, which again, we referenced that today. And, uh, you know, Liza P is what we're working on right now. We also got Salt and Sanctuary on Saturdays. So we've got a whole gamut of games that have been completed or are currently being worked on that I'm sure you'll find something that you'll enjoy. So go check them out. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, we have talked about other Souls likes. Uh, we have mentioned that Sekiro is going to be coming up. If that's something you want to see sooner rather than later, let us know. If there's another Souls game you want to see, let us know. Yeah, Sekiro will be me suffering, and it will be true suffering. So if you uh, want to see Austin suffering, let us yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> nah. There will probably be several moments where I get very quiet. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we'll get through it for sure. Yeah, I know we yep. will. Anyway, uh, more than anything else, we're just so glad to have you as part of uh, our day and that we get to be part of yours. So thank you so much for being here. We hope you have just the best day ever, and we'll see you all in the next video. We'll see you next time, everyone. Bye-bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.